Hello Gemini, I'm Susie from The Gift 202 and I'm here to read your cards for the week of the 16th of August. And so I'm going to ask Angel Spirit Guides, Universe, Aeroplanes. You will hear aeroplanes, sorry about that. I'm in the, I'm in the love shack, all right? So Gemini, 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 what would you like Gemini to know? Angel Spirit Guides, Universe, Gemini. Gemini, Angel Spirit Guides, Universe for Gemini, for Gemini, Gemini. Gemini, for the week of the 16th of August for Gemini, please, Angels, Spirit, Guides, Universe, the week of the 16th. There's a lot of cards there, Gemini. Oh, we've got the star at the bottom of the deck. Let's have a look what we've got. I don't that one came out last. Right, Gemini, first of all, you're jumping into a contract. Um, you're just, it's like, I'll take it. I want this union or this marriage or this contract or these people around me, I want it. Um, it's, it's a new team. You might go against, it's like you've made a choice in love. Um, it probably isn't a commitment and you don't fully um, have that much it's not a big it's not a new beginning it's not it's like an, it's like there's a, it's an unknown about it but there's a contract involved and you kind of might it might be a new job with the same people or the same job with new people okay or it's a choice of going um of leaving a commitment to somebody because the the love it's like you're going into maybe you're running out of a contract you might be going out of a job because you've got the lovers reversed here not in your element this is you um but on upright it's making a choice in love i i think you're choosing to walk away from this this job or this commitment this contract and you're going to go off and do something brand new because there's no feeling here with the ace it didn't begin properly and maybe there was a third party situation you thought well this is going to bring drama so i'm just i'm just going to untrap myself from this contract this job this relationship or this commitment um there's no um it's like you can't learn from it anymore with that hierophant upside down. There's no commitment there. Uh, there's no love left and you're out. You want to do this um, travel and be on your own. Um, you could have made something, crafted something that's become a success or there's just some kind of hobby that you, you love doing. Love is still going to be a confusion for you at least for the next month until the next full moon. Um, there could be a lot of secrets involved with love but this but the hobby you're doing is going to be lucrative with this turn of pentacles it will bring money in and stability uh this five of swords here you might get this money and then say something to somebody you can't unsay um it's kind of like you want out because there's jealousy involved in this situation there could be it's like there's you're, you're making this money the stability but in love there's too much confusion so it's either you go off get a new job and get away from this uh, com, uh family or you break a, a contract and you just go self-employed do your own thing travel on your own because love is causing you too much confusion there's uh, an inheritance some kind of money that you gain from the house you might sell a house or, or something not as a result of your activity uh, but there could be a row 
here because someone's jealous and saying that someone's running in and out when they're probably not. But this King of Cups is very sensitive to emotions. He's a counsellor, he plays music. He's in his element up there with his love and honour in his heart. So this could be you, Gemini, or someone you're going to meet. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, very emotional um, and wants to give love. I think there's a confusion with a, maybe another Gemini or a brother figure. Um, there could be no talking, a termination of a relationship because they keep coming and going and then this king of cups comes in to offer this love or you're offering it elsewhere um you can't make up your mind about something this week with that with that confusion it's causing it's like love is causing too much confusion um and you just want to concentrate on the stability and real romance if you like i think that's what's missing so let me ask the romance angel cards what's going on with Gemini for the week of the 16th of August before the next plane comes over. Spirit guides, universe, angel guides. Would you like Gemini to know for the week of the 16th of August? Too many cards. 16th of August for Gemini, 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 Gemini. Okay, we've got passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Angels, universe. Gemini for the week of the 16th, 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 16th. See, that king's at all heart up there. Angel spirit, leave the romance, passion back. Angel spirit guides. What do you love? What are you passionate about? It's like this job that you do, you're really passionate about it. It just, it's just lovely. There's too much confusion. There's a song with that, and there's too much confusion. Angel spirit guides, Gemini, for the 16th. Okay, so we've got true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. And look, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So I think this is the confusion. So there's, there's passion. Um, there's true love of a passion. But religious factors get in the way, like there's an age gap, or they've got children, or they want children, you can't have children, or it, and that's what makes it unrequited. There's not enough love in here, there's not enough heart in this. I think at the end of the week, there is, and it's true love, and it does come in, but at the moment, it's like you just want to concentrate on your stability, your money, um, try not to go to the bridge with someone where you say something that you can't take back because there's a termination that you can't come back from um, someone is rushing towards you to speak to you but they cause too much confusion and this king of cups could come about just to be a nice counsellor a shoulder to cry on someone or they could be your true love I've got engagement at the bottom of the deck so angel spirit guides what would you like Gemini to know for the week of the 16th of August. Oh. And look, I know what's falling on the floor because I've seen it. It's that's what I'm telling you about your heart. It's like, is there enough romance here? As you honour and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you, Rochelle. And pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. And no, conditions aren't favourable right now. Wait or look into other options and ask the angels to help guide and comfort you. Yeah, at the moment, like I said, you might have to wait the month of the moon for this situation to... Um, for you to get clear on it. This week's about money. It's about your independence. It's about maybe ending something for the second time because uh, it's just too confusing. And I feel that there's someone new coming in at the end of this week that wants to give of their heart. And it's it's love, it's true love, it's, as opposed to this sort of battle you're having, um, Gemini. You know, yeah, it's, it's confusing for you this week. So wait, wait the month of the moon, it could sort itself out. Um, just be gentle with yourself. All right, so hope, Hopefully you'll like, share and subscribe. So see you later. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.